It's your golfing buddy Bobby Lopez here. You know, you can always find me at Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com is my email. Quickfixgolf.com. And what I've got for you today is a little uh, tip on lag. A lot of people want lag. I don't know why you want lag. But we'll give you lag. Here's a kid with the most of it, which is Sergio Garcia. Too much is not a good thing, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to show you here how to get lag. And I'm going to also include a drill that will help you get there. Usually what I'm more concerned with is not so much the lag as much as a lateral motion in the golf swing which causes your club to prematurely lose its angle and as a, as a result you lose what the engineers would call you call uh, angular acceleration. You know these fancy terms for a cubit is too much you know. So watch I'm going to draw a line right here next to Sergio I wish I was a bullfighter Garcia. See that? Look how high his hands are. Now if he says my dad taught me to pull down on a chain with both hands. Now he said a chain, not a piece of string. Hmm? Davis loved the third. My dad told me to pound a stake into the ground. He said pound it. Didn't say tap it. Al Guyberger says, I feel like I'm ringing a bell. Jack Nicholas, I feel like I have to get my arms to the ball before the, the buttons in my shirt get there. Beat the buttons. Uh, Tiger Woods, the arms win the race meaning the race to the ball. Now, if they're all right and you've got to pull down here, right? That tells you that if your backswing is around yourself, if you take the club low and flat around yourself, you're toast. You've got no shot because if the second move is to pull down, the first move had to be to go up. Hmm? So that's why I always say reach up for the ceiling fan and then pull down on the string. <laughs> that's one way to think of it. See? But watch this. His head is not going to cross that second line. See? See? It goes back even further. That is also anybody who's got a bunch of lag, their head's going backwards. I don't care who it is. Nicholas, you name them. And they're all trying to get the tip of the left shoulder, even with the ball at impact, or else you're off sides. And that's usually what kills lag. Looking at Sergio from this side, look how, see? His chest is still facing us. Usually what I see, most people, when they send me a video, which, by the way, you can send me a video of your swing absolutely free, first one. But let me take a look at what you're doing, and I can send you back a drill and everything. Their chest is already facing the ball at that point. And that's why they're over the top. You want to know why people go over the top? Because they start with the chest first. You want to get rid of over the top, start with the arms first. Just do just the opposite. It's that simple. See? But he goes up. Boom. Up. Boom. Up. Boom. See? Now, having the most lag does not necessarily mean you're going to be the longest hitter. It, it's definitely a, a big help. A big help. But you look, for instance, at Bernhardt here. And you'll see the same thing. His head's going to go backwards. I'll tell you one thing. This Bernhardt is unbelievable in his conditioning. Unbelievable. Look at that. See? See the head go backwards? See? And that's what keeps this L formation together. Now, sure, Sergio's is even more, but I don't know whether that's good or bad, to tell you the truth. But I know one thing that's good, and that is get the tip of the left shoulder to the ball and a straight line at impact. So, for that to happen, you've got to have some tilt. That body's got to be tilted back some. Here's Jack Nicholas. Hey, Jack. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. I'm telling you, it's Jack Nicholas. Wait, there you go. See? He didn't have a huge amount of lag, nor does Tiger Woods or anything. It's not a matter of having a lot, it's a matter of not losing the angle that you have too early. Watch his head go back. See, look at the shaft getting loaded. Look how it's stressing right there. Huh? Huh? See? Tip of the left shoulder to the ball at impact. Look at the head go backwards. Gavish! So 
what I'm going to include for you here that will help you if this is what ails you. And again, here's what's a real problem. You really need... Please take advantage of sending me a video of your swing. It's absolutely free. And I'll be able to tell you and save you probably hours and hours and hours of aggravation because you might perceive you're doing A when you're actually doing B. And it's, it's, uh, it's not that you can't see it yourself. It's just sometimes um, it's hard to be self-critical of yourself and some you just don't, don't really see what's going on. But here's Sergio. Now, you see how his head is looking over here at about 2 o'clock? This is what we were doing when I was a kid. We put our bag right there, right where his bag is. Keep your eyes there. Keep your eyes there. Keep your eyes there. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. That's what the 2 o'clock drill is, which I'm going to include right now. It'll explain to you exactly how to do it. You keep your eyes at 2 o'clock to keep your chest from squaring up to the ball. Gabish, huh? <laughs> now, understand that as you first start doing this, I don't care what drill you start doing. I mean, everybody thinks 24 hours, all of a sudden everything's fixed. Hey, it didn't go that way. If you're called quick fix golf, you've got the fix now. You just got it in a matter of minutes. It's quick. But applying the fix is going to mean you logging some reps. And some of the best work you can do is in front of a mirror. Or get yourself a little, you know, download the V1 app or something on your cell phone so you can see yourself doing the drill properly. See that? Boom, 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 and around he goes. All right. Hope this helps you out. This was about lag. It's Bobby Lopez here, Quick Fix Golf, and the drill is going to start playing right now. Bobby Lopez here, and we're going to do the 2 o'clock drill. I'm going to show you how to do it right and how to do it wrong. <laughs> Pretty good at doing it wrong. I don't have any problem with that. But the reason why I'm going over this is that uh, it's so important that you do the drill the right way. Understand, I think a drill is medication. And that's why in our lesson manual, we have a whole section there on how to do a drill properly. And if you take the medication the right way, even though it may seem slower, you'll actually get results faster. So, right here, I'm going to stick the club right in my belly button, and I'm going to turn to what I would call 2 o'clock. 12 o'clock was straight ahead, 2 o'clock. Because one of the things that's really vital, that a lot of people miss, they just take their arms and they don't take the chest. Hmm? Got to take the chest with you. Now, you go back, boom. Now, I, the whole purpose of this drill is under the premise of what the engineers call angular acceleration or just like having a bunch of skaters in a circle here's the one in the center and here's another one well hold on hold on hold on which are like a real circle here i got a thing here to draw a circle there you go see and it keeps getting bigger and bigger until you get the outside part of the club head it's got to cover a much larger circumference than this tip of this shoulder it only has to get to here so that we have a straight line at impact just like if you're having one of these long distance races and this runner starts here, this runner starts here, this runner starts here, this runner starts here, same thing. In order to make the the distance that they're running all equal to each participant. A participant. See, you didn't think Cubans could know a word that big. Participant. <laughs> Look at this. What a jerk I am. Look at this. <laughs> I can't believe it. See all this white hair. <laughs> you old fart. Yeah. Right? Then I bring the club right back to my belly. Hmm? See? I keep my face looking at 2 o'clock. I pull down with the arms and I don't move one iota. I don't know how big an iota is, but it ain't a lot. See? I'm trying to square the club up. That's the first way I do it. Then I go ahead and grab the whole golf club. Turn to 2 o'clock, up I go, I've got an exaggerated amount of tilt, by the way I'm freezing my butt off out there, did 
See, and I'm bringing myself down. I don't allow my head to move at all. See, which keeps me behind the golf ball so that the tip of my left shoulder, my left arm, and the club and all are at a straight line at impact. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, one of our members, Les Murray, was so kind to be willing to make a fool out of himself, <laughs> just like me. And this is so important that when you guys are doing a drill, send me a video of your drill. That's why I've got this thing set up as unlimited on purpose. Because even if I just send you a two minute video, but it keeps you from doing hours of aggravation and doing more harm than good. Here, poor Les is doing the drill this way. Watch, he's a good spot right here. Right now he's got an A plus. He's gonna go from an A plus to a D minus. Watch this. See, he's taking his body and his body's going down with the pull down. The whole idea is to separate the arms from the body. Separate. These arms have to move and the body's got to wait. Just like if you've got a bunch of soldiers here lined up and the DI comes over and he goes, Column lift! Hurt! Right? Uh, let's see, which one would be to the left? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. No, that's column right. So column left this way. Here, here. Who was the idiot in the Marines? Uh, Gomer Pyle. That's what I am. A Cuban Gomer Pyle. See? This guy's got to march like crazy. This guy's just marking time. He's not moving. So all of this, your body is marking time while this guy marches, 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 marches. That's why Sergio said, I feel like I'm pulling on a chain with both hands. Pull down on the chain, pull down on the chain. Don't move your body at the same time. See, if you're moving your chest at the same time, your arms will not be able to keep up. Your left shoulder is going to get off sides. Although he's done, you know, like a pretty darn good job here. Pretty darn good job. But it scares me that he's moving the body with it at the same time. See, you want to get here. Come on. Up. Up, Cuban. Let it go. Look at this. I think somebody could roll that well would be able to do this here. Let me see here. <laughs> you people, you can't laugh at yourself anymore. You're pinnacle correctness, everything. Crap. Okay, so... You roll 90 miles and you get free peanut butter and a green card. Here we go. Here we go. Very good. Good. See? I pull down. Nothing else moves. Pull down. Let me see if this works. Hold on. I'm going to put this back here like that. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Now watch this. Let's do it in real time. There. There. See? There. 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 Boom. Right. Then it all times up together. See? Pull. 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 There you go. All right. That's the 2 o'clock draw. Oh, then I'm doing this. You can do like Ben Hogan. I feel like I'm pulling an arrow out of the quiver. Actually feel like... Oops. I'm glad I didn't turn it off yet. Actually feel like you're going that way. See? Don't go towards the ball. Actually pull out. Like Hogan says, he's pulling an arrow out of the quiver. Hmm? And by the way, the shaft should be up above the head on all of this, but I'm too lazy. See? And it's just a drill, so I don't really pay attention to that. But yes, I would want to get my shaft up above my head if I can. Because the higher I can go up here, the higher the chain is that I'm going to pull down on the more speed I can create. A la Davis love. Huh? All right, good luck. Get to work on the 2 o'clock drill if that's your problem. If it's not your problem, do another drill.